Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and to celebrate the Man of Steel just opening yesterday in theaters, we're going to be taking a look at last year's release of Hot Toys, Superman the Movie, the one six scale Christopher Reeve Superman. This is a fantastic product that was brought to us in collaboration of not only with Hot Toys, but also with Sideshow and Warner Brothers and of course DC Comics. So um, this is a figure that I've, you know, I, I pretty much bought um, last year when it was released. Um, thinking that it was going to sell out, but you know, I think it pretty much hung around most of the year. Um, I think only now is it starting to sell out in, in certain retailers, but you can still find it online. Um, but this was a figure that I thought surely it's going to sell out and I really wanted to buy it as an investment piece. Um, I figured I would buy it, hang on to it for a little bit and then sell it once it sold out. Um, but as it turned out, uh, I actually fell in love with the figure. It was one of the, the more simple, but just absolutely gorgeous figures. And I, I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. And, and, and I still can't. Um, it is still an absolutely fantastic figure. This is the Sideshow exclusive, so that does mean that it does come with the little chain of kryptonite that um, was featured in the film as well. Um, and I, I got to tell you, this is probably one of the, <laughs> probably the most elaborate non DX box that Sideshow or I mean Hot Toys has ever put out. This box is fantastic. As you can see, this is how it displays. Um, you're actually allowed to sort of display it um, on your shelf. It actually comes like this, uh, you know, pretty much a, a square package. Um, comes in the box like this. And then this piece here sort of folds up and makes the corner that, um, you know, to sort of fill out the box. You know, this was a throwaway piece. It's just cardboard. They didn't have to take the time to, you know, get this printed and folded and, 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 and put together. It fills up the package very nicely. Um, and then it just sort of opens up and allows you to display the box on your shelf like this. And it's absolutely fantastic. I'm really glad they included this. Um, and one of the other things that's really, really cool about this package, and I'm just going to take off the top here sort of show you is that it is in memory of Christopher Reeve. And um, one of the things of note is that when you made um, a purchase, when you, when you purchased this through online retailers, um, uh, a portion of the proceeds of this figure actually went to the Christopher Reeve Foundation, um, which was an absolutely brilliant way to sort of um, immortalize him and remember him and do something in his honor um, as well as provide a high-end collectible for Superman or Christopher Reeve fans. So uh, that was a very nice touch. Again, something that Hot Toys didn't have to do, um, but they did anyway, and it was absolutely fantastic. So whether that was Warner Brothers or DC or Hot Toys, whoever made that that call, um, good on you because that was a, a great idea. So um, let's get this guy cracked open and take a look at uh, what comes in the package. So here we have Superman unboxed and standing in all of his glory. Um, what you do get here uh, is a flight stand. Um, it's a really tall flight stand, um, very clean, um, not a lot of, you know, things obstructing it. And um, I like to kind of stand him in front of it and use that to sort of keep his cape out. Um, even though the cape does have some um, wire work in it, I always like to sort of hang it across the, uh, the flight stand when he's not a flying pose. Uh, as far as accessories for the figure, you really only get six hands. That's it. Two fists, two relaxed palms, two flying palms. That's, excuse me, that's really all you get. Of course, you do get this, um, the, I'm sort of on the fence about this base. The base looks fantastic, but it's, it's so cumbersome and it, it's such a source of frustration, constantly trying to keep the pieces in, um, that I, I'm sort of on the fence about how I feel about it. Um, and if you didn't get the sideshow exclusive, that's where the accessories end. Um, but again, this is the sideshow exclusive. So you do get this, um, ball of kryptonite. It's green, translucent, uh, plastic on the front and then a sculpted sort of rock on the back, and that is a metal chain, a real metal chain, um, so that it can uh, sort of hang around his neck um, like it did in the film. So, um, and you, you don't get that without the Sideshow exclusive version. So, uh, so not a lot. doesn't come with a figure, be a lot with the figure, but then again, you know, he really doesn't need it. Um, so uh, we will take a closer look at the accessories. It'll be really quick, because like I said, it doesn't come with a lot. Um, 
but I do want to show off the the Kryptonian rock. But um, other than that, yeah, let's uh, let's take a closer look and also take a closer look at this head sculpt, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, like I said, right off the bat, we're just going to look at the accessories really quickly. You do get two of these hands right here. As you can see, they are the uh, the flying hands, or his gesturing hands for when he is flying. Um, you get two of those. They are um, sort of identical, of course. Um, these are very nice hands to include. You also get your standard uh, fist. Again, very nice. Very nicely sculpted and uh, appropriately colored for the figure. He does have sort of a tanner look. Um, and of course, you know, you get your sort of standard relaxed palms, but nobody hardly ever uses those. And then, um, of course, this is the Sideshow exclusive um, Kryptonite Rock. So you can see how it's sort of half and half, almost like an egg cracked open. You've got this um, very bright, um, non-lit, sort of translucent green uh, material in the front. It looks adequately shiny, and you can turn it in different ways, and it sort of only right on as it kind of bright and as you turn it sort of gets darker which is really cool must be something sort of reflective in there uh, on the back it's kind of um, sculpted like a rock so some nice detailing there and of course a pretty lengthy um, metal chain it's got a lot of heft a lot of weight to it so um, really nice accessory not sure this really should have been uh, a sideshow exclusive um, accessory for the price of this figure um, which I think was like 194 uh, last year when I purchased it, um, it really should just come with this guy because it doesn't come with much else. So um, so those are the accessories. But uh, while we're zoomed in here, I really want to take a look at uh, this head sculpt um, because this is one of the better, I would say, one of the better like non-DX figures that we've received. Um, this, this head sculpt is just absolutely fantastic. That is Christopher Reeve all day long. It is spot on. Um, I think the intense look in the eyes is absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm glad they did not go with um, a DX on this figure because I think getting his eyes spot on, uh, I, I think, was a major, major point with selling this, this head sculpt. And so I'm actually really, really happy that this is not a DX figure. Um, the intensity in the, in the head sculpt, in the face, and the eyes, the, uh, the laugh lines with a little slight wrinkle around his mouth that was so perfectly Christopher Reeve. The lips, the, the chin, the divot in the chin, just everything about this head sculpt is absolutely perfect. This, in my opinion, is a flawless head sculpt. Not a single problem with this at all. Um, I love that there is no neck cut. Like, we don't get any sculpted neck down on the head sculpt. It's just the hair and the chin. Um, over the the rubber um, body overlay, which I think is perfect. It's just, I mean, I can't say perfect and fantastic enough. This is spot on, not even a DX figure, absolutely perfect. One of my absolute favorite head sculpts ever produced by Hot Toys. So just can't say enough. Okay, so why don't we zoom back out and take a look at the articulation um, with Superman's body. Okay, taking a look at the articulation here, um, quite a range of motion with the head and a lot of range of motion when it comes to leaning the head up and back for flight poses. So no worries there. Absolutely fantastic amount of articulation there. Head can go quite a bit around left and right. Do you want to be careful because you've got to, you know, a soft rubber body here that is painted so you always want to make sure you're lifting up a little bit uh, and never dragging the chin across the neck um, just so that it doesn't scuff and rub rub any of the paint off so you've got a nice ab crunch here and uh, he leans back quite a bit enough to give you that sort of heroic sort of puffy chest look which is fantastic and what would a Superman figure be without the um, shoulder articulation to be able to get the hands and the arms all the way above his head for those fantastic flight poses, which we're going to definitely get to here in a minute. Um, but, you know, you are sort of restricted at the waist because of um, the suit it all being like a uniform, like one, one long, huge piece. <coughs> you do have... Uh, yes, that is a double joint at the elbow, 
It's not the tightest double joint in the world, but um, but it is there nonetheless, which is really nice. Um, pretty standard articulation um, with the wrist and the and the shoulders. Um, as far as the legs go, fairly good. You got you do have a double joint knee again, like the arms. They're double jointed, but you know I think it's that standard knee joint from Hot Toys. It doesn't fold all the way up. That's as far back as you can get the leg. I think they've much you know, improved upon the double knee joint, uh, now, especially thinking with the, uh, with the Wolverine figure. Um, and then because the boots are one piece and they are designed to be sort of like his boots and all rubber, um, there is some foot and ankle articulation. As you can see, it will kind of hold left and right, but there is no hold, um, down. That's about as far down as it will hold on its own. So, um, and some slight darkening of the boots, um, around uh around the the sole area so um you know I, typically at this point i kind of zoom in and i, I you know so I, I start doing like handheld camera movements and and i move the camera right up on the figure and we get in there really close and we look at all the fine detailing um you know on on the figure itself but you know what this is a pretty plain looking uniform there's not a lot going on it's sort of designed like superman's uniform um from the film so what you have here is you have a pretty standard blue unitard you've got pretty standard you know just stretchy cloth material you know a rubbery plastic belt and just some rubber boots there's not a lot going on so uh what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to zoom in and uh do a lot of detail shots of that so i think what we're going to do is just going to move on to the poses because this guy poses very well and he looks great when posed up so let's look at some poses and then we'll get on to the final thoughts okay i know i said we were about to do some poses but real quickly even though i'm on the fence about this thing i really just wanted to get in here and show you some detail um of the base so um, I really like the bottom portion of the base, um, the the snow rock um, sort of ice formation. I think it's nice, as you can see, quite a bit of detailing, um, sculpting on the rocks itself, um, lots of blue washes in here. So I think the bottom part of the space looks fantastic. I almost kind of wish we had a, a bottom part of the space without the without the ice formations coming out of it, um, the fortress of solitude pieces. Um, I really think it was a, a grand idea to sort of include the flight stand instead of like the regular. It does come with like a regular base. I didn't get that out of the package. Everybody knows that, you know, all Hot Toys figures are going to come with a standard crotch grabber base. But, um, but these things right here are very loose, and I'll show you. Um, they just come right out. They sort of, they they're each each one of them has a foot on it that's a very specific shape, and you know each hole. Um, accepts that very specific shape um, and so there's no way of sort of putting these in incorrectly um, but nonetheless they um, they don't stay very well um, I have seen um, some reviewers um, talk about you know taking a hair dryer warming you know blowing on the base getting it really warm wedging them down in there pretty tightly and then letting them cool that's something that I've never done I probably should do that and it'll probably work out much better as a matter of fact um, I may do that after this review. Uh, I may go and uh, warm up the base a little bit and see if I can get these to stick in there a little bit better. I've always had a problem with them. I know everybody typically does. I don't think anybody's bases stand the way they want it to. Um, so uh, that's that's the only real downfall with this base. It looks fantastic. It's very dynamic, but at the same time, it's um, it's 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 quite uh, bothersome to have to fool with. So um, okay, <laughs> just wanted to get that out of the way. Now let's take a look at some poses.
Okay, you guys know how I like to uh, end these videos, and that's uh, how the guy is going to go back on my shelf. And uh, that very last pose you saw, I really like this pose. I, I was like, you know, as long as he stays up and doesn't knock all these crystals down, then this is how he's going to go back on my shelf, and that's definitely how it's going to go. I really like this pose. It's very fantastic. It's very, you know, it captures sort of the the essence of Superman, this iconic pose of him flying into the Fortress of Solitude. So, um, again, you can see with the poses, lots of posability, lots of articulation, uh, just an absolutely fantastic figure, and it's not a DX. I can't get over that. Um, if there was one thing I would, would have wanted with this set, maybe would have been like a, a more angry, uh, more fierce um, straining sort of, um, uh, head sculpt. I think that would have been really nice, especially with some of the fist poses. I think it would have been fantastic. Uh, and maybe with some of the flight poses, but you know, I'm happy with what we got. It looks fantastic and, uh, all around a great figure and another great way to celebrate the, uh, the man of steel opening in theater. So fantastic film. If you haven't seen it, get out there, go see it. It's amazing. It's mind blowing. So that's going to about do it for this review. As always, we're going to ask if you dug it, please like, comment, or subscribe. Be sure to check out, um, facebook.com slash ungrownups. We do a lot of conversating over there and uh you know you can download our podcast which is new every two weeks over at itunes or you can stream it right off of uh ungrownups.com and uh, be sure to check out our man of steel review which just posted just now so head on over to ungrownups.com and check it out and until next time peace